In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install dbgpt locally on your Linux or on your Windows instance. dbgpt allows you to run many LLMs on your local system without exposing your data to the public or to the internet. You can run various models on dbgpt such as you can run Vicuna models, Llama models and let me show you the list quickly wizard lm chat glm and few more now one of the requirement for running this dbgpt is that you should have a good hardware it won't run on cpu so you should have at least 16 gb or preferably 32 gb of ram to at least run this llama 2 7, 7 billion or 13 billion parameter models you can also run vicuna on either 16 GB or preferably 32 GB of RAM. Now this dbgpt not only lets you run this model but it can also allow you to interact with your PDF files or even Excel file as shown by this diagram and I will drop the link to this github repo so that you can read along. But in this video I'll go I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process as how to install it. One of the good thing about this dbgpt is that it has one of the very few projects out there which has a good documentation so if you click here on the install it will take you here so you can install it on docker on linux mac and windows instructions are similar for all the operating system so let me show you the linux one and this is what i'm going to be following in this video okay For this demo, I'm using AWS EC2 instance and the instance type is G4DN2XLarge, which has 32 GB of memory plus around eight CPUs. And I'm using Ubuntu operating system. Let me quickly show you my Ubuntu operating system so that if you want, you can install the same. So I'm using Ubuntu 22.04. Okay, let me clear the screen. The first step which we need to do is to clone the GitHub repo for this dbgpt now the way you get the url for this is this go to the github repo scroll up and let me quickly scroll up click on the screen button and grab this url go back to your terminal and from there simply type git clone and dbgpt and make sure that git is installed it comes pre-installed with this Ubuntu operating system. So let's wait for it to get installed here. So that GitHub repo is cloned. And next step we need to do is to make sure that Conda is installed. So type Conda info. So Conda is not there. So we need to install the Conda on this Ubuntu operating system. Let me install it. In order to install Conda, let's first go to temp directory and then use wget to download this. Let's wait for it to download. Shouldn't take too long. That's done. Let's quickly check the checksum of this so that we know that it is correct. Then we haven't downloaded any other files. That's good. Now let's run it with bash in this shell script. Press enter and tab for three, four times. Type yes. And Conda is almost done press enter here and this is going to unpack the payload and then install it let's wait for it to finish let's initialize coda just type yes and conda is done let's source our shell so that it will take effect that's done now again run conda info and you can see now we have conda installed now by using Conda, let's create the environment for dbgpt and we'll be using Python version 3.10. Press Y, which is default. So just press enter if you want. And let's wait for it to install. That's done, which is great. And now activate this environment and it will appear in the parentheses. That's done. So as you can see, we, we are now in dbgpt environment. 
let's go to the directory where we have git cloned our dbgpt directory so let's quickly check ls-ltr there we are in that directory cd to the dbgpt and now simply put pip install dash e dot and it will install all the requirements and that should take around few minutes so let's wait for it to finish requirements are done and now let's install this for the knowledge base and let's wait for it to finish packages are done and now it's time to load the models the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you you are in the dbgpt directory so we are now let's create a new directory called as models and then cd to that directory this is the directory where we are going to load the model it is already there so it, which is okay so let's go into it and then write ls ltr to see if there is anything there nothing now if you are using windows or linux doesn't matter all you need to do is to go to hugging face website or wherever your models are and then download it from there for this demo i'm going to use bloke's quantized version which is called as um, llama 27b gptq and this is 4 bit quantized so all, we would also need to set that in our environment variable so as you can see this is quantized to 4 quantized simply means that the model size has been reduced by doing some floating point magic okay now let's download this model this is a command i'm going to use for downloading the model so git clone https and then hugging face dot go and then just the block and llama gptq let's check if it's downloaded there so it has it has created this directory let's go into that and just double check okay so our model is there the next step we need to do is to go back to couple of directories back then do ls dash ltra and then you will see one of the template file which is this one dot plugin dot env we need to copy this um, file and just create a dot env file so let me do it by running simple command all i'm doing is just cp th this hidden file dot env dot template to env the center and now if you want to view it just Put A here and you will see this .env file. Okay, now let's open it with BI Editor. And this is a template file where you need to make few of the changes. Note down this port. We will be accessing um, this tool here at 7860 port. So make sure that if you're using AWS instances, you open that port in the security group. Plus, you need to change the model here. So the default is Vicuna. We are using um, this llama 27b so let's let me put it there so i have put in llama 2 here another thing which we need to do is to make sure that quantize 4 bit is also enabled so simply uncomment it and put true here and i am going to put cool okay press escape and then let's quickly have a look around to see if there's any thing else we are missing and there are a few stuff here too which you need to put in okay so all good and let's save it and then go to the next step we have saved the environment file let's clear the screen one more thing we need to install is git lfs which is required for this so app dash cat install git lfs and that should be fairly quick press enter and we should be good cool that's done so these are all the steps uh, steps to install this now in order to run it you need to run this command python pilot dash server dbgpt underscore server dot py as soon as you run this then you can uh, access the dbgpt on your local system at port 5000 as soon as i ran there i got this error about this x2 vector now i forgot one step so let me quickly show you which i need which we need to do go back to this repository and if you scroll down we also need to download the embedding so that is what i'm going to do so let me go there 
Okay, it's not here. That is fine. Let me show you in that terminal then. So all we need to do is to sorry. Yeah, let me grab that command quickly. Type it. So this is a command we need to use git clone and then this is embedding we need to download in the model directory. So let me do it. That should be fairly quick. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, that's done. Now let's run our model setup again. So this is the command we need to run. Let me run it. So you can see it is still the setup file is still running. It is done now let me try to access it on my um, in my browser just an update as i was loading the lava 2 in my browser it crashed the server so i had to recreate it and when i recreated it with even a 4x 4x large g4dn instance and i'm downloading and trying it with vicuna model it is still stuck here for the last uh, 40 minutes and i'm still waiting for it to download so not really um, something you would expect from a, a product which claims to be uh, at par with all the other products out there. And I believe that there, are, there is a lot of room for improvement here, especially around this performance and working with the quantized version. Um, I'm even using this beefy system with Eight, a 4x large one and I'm not really intending to go with the 8x large one because there are a lot of other good products out there which can run multiple LLMs offline and I have done quite a lot of videos in the last few days on them and I will drop the link in video's description but all in all I would say that it is a good project in the right direction but I think they are claiming a lot uh, in this repo which is yet to be seen so I can't really comment on that at the moment uh, but I believe that they should really improve the performance and um, especially with the installation on the, someone decent systems like uh, EC2 G4DN with one or two GPUs because even the 32 GPU of RAM is not sufficient enough which is uh, really puts a cold water on this demo anyway. Uh, but you, now you know how to at least uh, install try to install it and you have all the command and I will drop the link of this github repo in beauty description so try it out and if you're able to do it uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to discuss it further and we might try it again so I hope that you like the content or at least effort on it if you do please consider subscribing to the channel thank you